Hey guys, welcome back to Zip Tie Garage. Today we're going to be taking this uh, 1998 uh, <clears throat> Quality Farm and Country V-Twin, 14.5 horsepower. We're going to tear it all down, take the rear end out, take the motor out, uh, and get ready for a built Predator with a go-kart live axle. And we're going to be lowering the front too, so let's get into it. Okay guys, so got the motor, uh, got the motor unhooked, everything's unhooked, feel line, the exhaust, uh, throttle and choke, I kept on it, I just took it out of the dash. Nice V twin laying around now. That's really nice laying. Never know what I'm gonna put them. Okay, since she's up in the air, I'm gonna put the old pulley stand on. And I'm going to put the <clears throat> motor mount bolts in since I'm not going to use this thing. This uh, hoist that <clears throat> got from Harbor Freight, things will rip it. Things will rip it. It's just screwed in with a uh, lag bolt. So, it's holding. So. Okay, so motor mount bolts are in. Uh, I have the. the uh, toy to tighten up. I'll set her down. I think I'm going to take the whole wiring harness out of that thing because it's still mint and I'm not going to use wiring for a 212 Predator, so this is just a full starter and it's not one of the electric start ones. Uh, Wish I had a tray to move this thing around on. It's gonna be good, a little push motor. You could just set the motor down on it. Uh, I think for right now, I'm just gonna set it down and push it off to the side. spot for it and put it there. 
let it sit there until I need it for another project, I guess. Always good to have spare motors. I have another one of these in a mower out back to do a take out. That was the first, or the second racing mower. Then, uh, it didn't, the steering didn't work out and I never, uh, never went on with it. Okay, so, got the motor out and motor's off to the side. And there's a bunch of dirt daubers in there, of course. So, uh, could take all the wiring out, power wash the frame and stuff. I don't know if I'll do that. I have four days till my parts come, so it's kind of, I have a bunch of free time on my hands to do whatever with this thing. So, uh, I'll decide what I want to do and I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I got the whole wiring harness out, all the belt guards and everything whole wiring harness so this this i'm not gonna run this motor in i have another built brand new one so this one just for mock-up purposes so i think i'm gonna have to take square stock and lift the motor up from the motor plate i'm gonna weld on the frame and uh because the torque converter goes at an angle and it bolts onto here so it goes at an angle like that so it's gonna be hitting that so the steering kind of gets in the way, but if I can get, I'm going to have steering right rub the torque converter, but I could put stops on it. So, woo. if I can, I can put the motor like that, have the torque converter way out here, just cut this out because it's just, just extra metal. And got it back here, take the deck lift off, and figure that out. So, I think this is going to end part one. Hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you when I get uh, the other parts.